lady. Play us a song. Town. Yes, but this won't take long. Look at the poor fella. Yep. Why didn't you help that poor man? Oh, Lombago. It's real serious. It can be deadly. What about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? The fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. I sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. With the damn hacksaw. Can't say I'm surprised. Yeah. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Goddamn problem! Hey, mister. Now we're stuck. Didn't think I'd see something like that today.
Now those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. here down the main street there's always on the right sure you can pick up some bounties there arthur heaven forbid you put your head on the line yeah well, that's a young man's game <laughs> Ooh, yes we can get up to some mischief here all right just remember keep a low profile will you remember that though arthur probably not i saw it Park up down the end there, near the stables. Just about had enough all this. All right, here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. I Come on. Paris and Valentine, so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, it... In my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. So here we are. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Fine. Just fine. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside.
All the best, fellers. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down, down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Push Tilly and Karen. I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. I got you now. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Ah! Damn it! Me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. The blacksmith was seen creeping out of you-know-who's house at dawn again. Ain't the first time. So Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel.
Back down, he left the grog shop drunker than I ever seen him. Next day, I'm gonna help you, sir. I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? A bath, perhaps? Use your strength to help the weak. You looking for a room? Sir? Sir? Can I help you, sir? No. Wrong room. No harm done. <clears throat> Join me. I'm a Chelonian. Have you read our book? No, I was just leaving. Please don't bother the other guests, sir. Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but it is a livestock town. Lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. This isn't one of those ladies first situations. Go on, lead the way. You believe this? Went to the shop looking for a new rifle, and there's hardly a gun that costs less than two weeks' wages. But nerves. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Uh, Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you, you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get... I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Hey, that's my horse. 
Just bone it. You stay away from me! Get back here right now! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up, please. Please. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see... I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <sighs> come on, come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Come on, the girl.
Good evening, mister. What the hell? What is the matter with you? Blind or dumb? For Christ's sake. You ain't right in the head, is you? Can't even Careful now. Happy to assist you in a moment. And I bear his service. Thanks. <laughs> 